Okay, so we made it to the super viral birria spot. They've got birria pizza, birria ramen, birria tacos and quesadillas. And I've been waiting and waiting to come to this spot. I've seen it all over Instagram. I used to watch their videos all the time. So I'm so excited. Let's go get some birria. Let's go. Birria pizza. So we got the queso birria taco. Oh my god! Look at all that birria and cheese. It's so crispy on the outside too, because they like dip it in the consomme and then they grill it. So it's like dip it in the consomme. That's insane. I mean, the amount of cheese that they shove into this thing is just incredible. The birria is so flavorful, so tender. Shell is so crispy. I mean, it's like the perfect food, like singular food, like that's it. It doesn't get better on it. It doesn't. So everyone can stop trying to like come up with new foods because that's the best that we have. Birria. My life has been leading up to this moment. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? I haven't. I could like actually die happy right now. This is what life is about right here. They pack the meat in there and it's so tender too like. Oh my god. So look at all that meat. Like, this is literally what life is about. It's just like the richest, most like indulgent, beautiful creation. Like, the meat melts in your mouth, and the cheese comes in with like that fatty, creamy richness. And the tortilla has a little crisp, but it's also like so soft. And the consomme has so much flavor. Like, it's like so salty. I just, I just love it. The birria ramen. Oh my God, there's so much meat in here too. They're not skimping, they're not skimping. It kind of almost has like a chili flavor. I mean, I'm sure there's like chili peppers in here, but like a chili with like beans and meat, you know, like the chili. Kind of has that, definitely has a different flavor than the consomme and the birria taco. So like, I really like that because it provides some variety and yeah the cheese is just like melts it into every noodle like you can't even see it because it the cheese pull looks like noodles but like it's just been invaded by cheese <laughs> it's the size of a small child this might be the biggest burrito i have ever held in my arms i just want to keep it safe and protected from farm. Yeah. Oh, hot Cheetos, it's got hot Cheetos in it, that's right. <laughs> of course it does, why wouldn't it? Oh, what a bike. Again, it's like so like soft, but the Cheetos add a little crunch, which is nice. And a lot of spice, it's got guac, beans, onions. Lots of birria, rice, like, it's everything you want a burrito to be. This food was amazing. Honestly, the birria ramen might have been my favorite. It's got that, like, oh, it's so much flavor. It's got that, like, chili flavor that I really like. One thing about me, I will always get horchata. I love it so much. It tastes like Christmas. I said a little kick, too. It's got, like, a nutmeggy, like, a little shock to the system, but Christmas. Okay, we made it to the Pinata District. So this is downtown LA and it's literally just a street where they sell pinatas and it it's like so colorful. They're playing music everywhere. And apparently there's a lot of great Mexican street food. So I'm psyched, I'm hungry, I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, let's go see what we find. I 
I had to get norchata first because it is a little bit hot out. Actually, the weather has been really, really nice, but we've just been like running around all day. So we're thirsty. So I got this giant horchata. I was not expecting her to give you so much, but let's try it. It tastes like Christmas. Oh, it's so like smooth, so creamy. It's so sweet too. We're gonna start with the sobet because this is my uh, one of my all-time favorite foods. It's this fried tortilla made with masa. So it's like thick and it's just like, think like chalupa, like it's like the most satisfying, like deep fried bite of food ever. We put the spicy salsa on this one and a chicharron frenzada. So it's like pork that's like fried with the skin on it. And uh, we got some some different toppings. We got a few salsas, some crumba. This is piping hot. I mean, this is like fresh off the briar. So it's gonna be fire. Wait, that's incredible. Oh, those sauces are so flavorful. And the pork is so soft. And the salsa is so crispy and so rich, like that deep fried flavor. It's also got some beans and that's the best sopas I've ever had. And then we've got a torta. So it's this nice, thick, fluffy bread. Got some carne asada, looks really tender beef, some cheese. Again, we got a lot of guac on this one because the guac looks so fresh. Like they made it. All the ingredients, like super fresh. He said it's it's all made. All the tortillas are made here. All the guac, all the salsas are made right here. So it's also going to be fire. See the size of this thing. It's huge. Okay, big bite. But pork is so tender. Oh my god! And the guac is so creamy. Like it's so good. That pork has so much flavor. Like in a rib off a big piece. It's just like so fluffy. And you've got the little like sharp pot from the cilantro. It's the flavors and the textures all together. It's just amazing. Oh, so good. I was walking by this lady and I saw this just massive looking fried piece of something and it smells like a churro. So I had to get it because it's beautiful. It's so crispy, like listen to it. Mm, deep fried dough, baby. Really rich and then it's got this like layer of sugar on it. This is everything street food should be, you know? Just over the top, super, not healthy for you, but delicious. I got some garbanzo beans. She convinced me. I have no idea what she put in there, but I just told her I keep going. Okay, the guy said these were garbanzo beans and they're like scalding hot, like you can't even touch the bottom. Um, she was cooking them up with salt and then she put Valentino, hot sauce I think, in it and sugar, I believe, and also a fresh lime. So they're all swassed up. I'm gonna attempt to try one. And then you're not supposed to eat the outside, so. It's just a little bean. Mm -hmm. Oh, it kind of tastes like a lima bean, but really salty, but yum. I'm not sure how you're supposed to eat it. If you're supposed to like pop the whole thing in your mouth and get the seed out, like a sunflower seed, they're really good, but they're a little bit difficult to eat. They made us the El Gato Night Market. It's a bunch of different variety of food. There's one guy making like pasta over there. There's like everything from funnel cakes to rolled ice cream. It's like fair food, but then also a lot of Mexican food. But I had to get a lote because we're in LA. I got it with Takis and lots of cheese, of course. And I think mayo. Cheers. That's a lot of flavor. Oh, it's so good though. So creamy. 
a little sweet from the corn and then like spicy from the takis and so crunchy. On the menu, this was called the Taki Locos, but I got it with Flamin' Hot Cheetos instead of Takis because we already had Takis on the Elote. And I tried a bite before we started filming. I don't know what this is. If you know what it is, please tell me. It's like gelatin. I thought it was an onion, but it's like jelly, like a gummy candy, but it doesn't taste sweet like a gummy candy. I've never heard of it or seen it before, but it's good. There's so many textures and flavors, like the crunchy Takis, and then it's got these peanuts that are like covered in a crunchy shell. So crunchy. It's got avocados and peanuts and I don't know, like some sort of bean. And then she just doused it in sauce. That's like sweet and spicy. Like this is one of the most like intense flavor texture combinations I've honestly ever tried. The gummy candy really plays an interesting role. <laughs> That was truly one of the most interesting foods I've ever had. Ataki Locos from the El Gato Night Market in Los Angeles. We got these rolled ice cream, Belgian waffle, brownie thing with whipped cream. And he made this waffle fresh, so it's five week hot. And it's a brownie rolled ice cream. Um, and it looks incredible, so let's dig it. I tried to get everything in one bite. Waffle, brownie, ice cream, whipped cream, big bites only. Shout out Nick Dumpier. That brownie's rich. That's actually really good in the, for rolled ice cream, the ice cream's like pretty creamy. Part your teeth a little bit, it's really cold, but it's really good. to pronounce this so I'm not gonna try but I'll write the name of it but um it's not cactus onions cheese al pastor crema uh, salsa it looks beautiful I got a bite it's got cactus on it lots of al pastor cheers that was good to go it's got a lot of salt, a lot of flavor. The tortilla or whatever this is, massive, beautiful thing is, it's so crispy. And the crema is so creamy and the cactus is actually really good. It's like kind of moist. Makes sense. Cactuses are mostly water. It kind of tastes like a pepper. Like if you saw, say like a green pepper and it gets kind of soft. Wow. But that al pastor is, Straight fire. Oh, look at this cheese call. We made it to Koreatown. This is our first spot, it's called Louders, and we're gonna get the bulldog with cheese, so it's like spicy fire chicken with cheese. And then you like mix it up, like spin it around and kind of like eat it like in wrapped in cheese. I think it also has sakoki, but I'm not sure. It started us off with a little salad with some pickled radish, which are always really good, like really tangy. A little sour. Some pickled jalapenos. I think I'll save these for the chicken. Chicken. So tender and juicy though. Oh my God. And so much flavor, like it's spicy, but peppery. Wow. And the cheese is like smoky because of the torching. It's like comfort fruit to the max. It's like chewy and gummy, but like in a really fun way. Ooh, they've got potatoes too. Crispy potatoes. 
tater tots. This is comfort food, man. Yeah, damn. Oh, this absolutely electrifying the atmosphere and I've just never experienced anything like that in my life. Oh, that was crazy. I've never actually experienced that sort of atmosphere again before. It's absolutely electric. Wow, that was fire. So flavorful, so cheesy and smoky and the ladies were so sweet. I trust them with my life, but they were playing fire, K-pop and 10 out of 10 experience. Louder is blah. Now we're gonna go to an egg shop that closes in like 20 minutes. So we gotta go. got this massive egg sandwich. It's got bacon and cheese and bread looks so crispy. It's like so fluffy and moist. It's like pouring out of this sandwich. It looks really good. So excited. I love an egg sando. Cheers. Oh my God. It's got some spice too. I think they have like a house sriracha. It is so fluffy. So moist, so salty. The bacon is super crispy. That's a really, especially like if you come during breakfast time, oh my God. It's decadent. So rich, just so moist and salty. <laughs> Behold. <laughs> The pictures on the menu do not do this justice. Like, this is a piece of art. And it's not like stuck in with chopsticks, like, or with toothpick. He like, he carefully placed each piece of fruit to like make this beautiful display. Oh my God, it's stunning. This is the chili chicken. And this is soy garlic. Wow, um, look at that glaze. So sugary, spicy. Whoa, sweet, tangy. The chicken is like so crispy on the outside, but really tender. All right, let's try this. I think this one is spicy. These pieces of chicken are gravy. Like they're crusted in this incredible, crunchy, sweet layer of beautifulness. Yeah, this one really has like a kick for sure, but it has like a honey flavor too, like a sweetness that's like somehow not too sugary, but all right, I'm gonna try one of the pieces with the fruit. Do that feel like you're supposed to? I got a bite of chicken, pineapple, and a raspberry. <laughs> Cheers. It's so juicy, so sweet. This is a feast. And it was only $30. I feel like that's a steal for how much food you're getting, like, incredible. He's an artist. <laughs>